literary life. So I received my books and baths box for what month are we? January, right? <laughs> Hopefully for January um, just now. So I'm looking forward to opening it. So books and baths actually just started um, a subscription service late last year. And uh, basically what they do is they give you a book with a couple of bath items and bookish items to go along with the book. They do, I believe, make all of the bath products themselves. And they've, it's been, um, I want to say I usually get about two bath items in each box. And it's varied. So it's, you know, been salt or bubble bath. So that's been a lot of fun. Um, they are now, from what I see, offering options for your packages. So you can get just like a blind date with a book. Um, you can get fewer items, I think, with the book for a lower cost, or you can get like the full box, which is what I subscribe to and will continue to subscribe to. Um, I forget, sorry, that was my dog. I forget what the price is for that. I want to say it's around 30 some dollars. And I want to say shipping for them is a bit more, $13, $14. But this box, which is beautiful, comes in a priority mail box and the shipping is fast. Um, so the it itself is usually well protected for what I've seen so far. Um, the other thing that I think is really cool, and then I will get to the opening, is that when I started to look at renewing my subscription, which I am in the process of doing, they now ask you several questions and they you get to select genres you're interested in. And I noticed the past couple of months, they actually have two different box versions, or I don't know if it's all the items, it may be just the book, but two different book options that they put out for a given month. So it's kind of fun because you don't know like you get this one and then you kind of want to find other people's unboxings to see what the other option was. So I, I'm, I like that. All right. So enough talk. Let's get in and see what this month's is. Um, and I will, of course, put a link with some information below about Books and Baths if you are interested. Okay. So New Year, New Read. Hashtag for our New Year, New Read boxes, we selected books that we found uplifting. Grayson is already excited. And... Um, for following your dreams. The new year is the perfect time for big dreams and we wanted to celebrate that. With this book, those book lovers out there that have wished books could be their whole life will feel right at home. And then it lists the items in the box, so I am not gonna look at that. I'm gonna set them to the side. So let's start. So one of the things I really like is that my lid fell off, but <laughs> not that part, but that they do a candle that they hand make in each box. And I'm such an avid candle user that for me, this is perfect. I actually like knowing I get a candle from them every month. Um, this one is Little Shop of Happy Ever After. It smells like new beginnings, the seaside, and fresh air. And you can see, oh, this one's really nice. I think, honestly, this one may be my favorite of the ones they sent thus far. I really like this. I don't know what it is, but the scent is really, um, I don't know. It, it actually smells like, it reminds me of fresh air, new beginnings, kind of spring, even though it is January and snowing as we speak. And I think we're going to have a high in the negatives come Wednesday. So I'm going to pretend and burn this candle and imagine that it is somewhere much nicer. Um, for the bath item, we have a bag of salt this month. And I'm just going to peek at the tag. Um, so this is peppermint and eucalyptus bath and Epsom salts. Oh, my God. And I don't know if it's these smelling or if they've picked up a scent from something else. But they these smell really good, too. Okay, from a scent perspective, this is definitely my favorite box so far. Um, so well done. Well done, guys. Um, this is so cute. Look at the color. I love how it's like this light, it's kind of like a green, yellow, um, I don't know if it specks the blue or just darker green, but it's really, wrong way, really pretty. I don't know if the, let me see if I touch it, will it focus? No, not so much. Um, really gorgeous color. So this is coconut and lime bath bomb. I wonder if that's, maybe it's coconut that I was picking up on it, on the stuff. Because that does kind of seem like it would be um, new beginnings. So we have a, what is this? Um, so the, the, <laughs> writing is an, um, an Asian language that I, I won't even pretend to understand. It's a highlighter. <laughs> My daughter is so going to steal this. Um, I might as well just give it to her. It's from Japan. Fine. Oh, there's a fine end and a bold end in the highlighter. I could not understand it. She is like right there already looking at it. It's a mild liner. That's really cool. So you've got like a thicker end or a fine end for highlighting or drawing things. 
So that is cool. And it goes along with the color of the items. I have to take a photo when I'm done that you can, can have you it. it. She's already, she's already stocking, stocking it. Okay, we have a bookmark that says Books and Baths Company. Anything that spreads books and brings about more books, I would say it is good. That is, I agree. I completely agree. All right, I like I, I like this bookmark. I like the colors. I like the um, just the design, the print. Uh, so that is that is nice. We have a um, just a little. Uh, notebook here with the books and baths logo and just some blank pages i always find these happy or happy i always find these useful i throw them around everywhere um so that is going to be well used oh watermelon peel off mask look at that i'm liking that one that'll be fun in fact kaylin and i are supposed to do a bubble mask today that i got in another box so we'll have to get with that Ooh. okay what's this okay this is really pretty look at the floral this is a pen and this has an Asian feel to it to me as well and I oh my god and I think you unroll look at it it's like rolled okay I gotta look at the list here so the candle is soy based floral and seaside scent which I, I did not identify right at all of course because my sniffer doesn't work um, the bookmark item one item two are the two bath the mini notebook with the annotating set and then the bonus item is a face mask so to go along with the bookmark, this is so cool though. I love, oh, you can't even, I'm not even in the right space. But this is like, it's like it's rolled, the paper. So it's absolutely beautiful. So that's kind of nice because you have your pen, highlighter, and a notebook um, to go along with everything. Okay, so now we're getting right to the best part, which is the book. The bookshop on the corner. I don't think I read this one. Um, look how cute that cover is. I don't think I've read this. So Nina Redman is a literary matchmaker. Pairing a reader with that perfect book is her passion and also her job. Okay. <laughs> Hello, dream job, right? I know. It, yeah. Anyway, all these subscriptions, um, or at least it was until yesterday, she was a librarian in a hectic city, but now the job she loved is no more. Determined to make a new life for herself, Nina moves to a sleepy village many miles away. There she buys a van and transforms it into a mobile bookshop that she drives from neighborhood to neighborhood, changing one life after another with the power, power of storytelling, from helping her grumpy landlord deliver a lamb to sharing picnics with the charming train conductor who serenades her with poetry. Nina discovers there's plenty of adventure, magic, and soul in a place that's beginning to feel like home, a place where she just might be able to write her own happy ending. And the author, Jenny Colgan, a um, New York Times bestselling author of Christmas at the Cupcake Cafe, Little Beach Street Bakery, Meet Me at the Cupcake Cafe, um, which were all international bestsellers. And she lives in London and Scotland. And I don't think I've read anything by her before. Um, but this looks like it is like just a light and cozy read. And, you know, it's funny because the book I got last month when I first pulled it out, I was like, oh, romance. And it's so hit or miss for me. But I, I actually am putting it in my stack to read in February. And I've been seeing that book. I'm, I'm blanking on what the name is, but I've been seeing it around. And now I'm really excited to read it. So, you know, with the, them being a new box, I don't know what their style will be with the books. But if it's going to be sort of, as long as it's good quality, but if it's going to be like these cozy, kind of just light, fun um books I am I am all in so absolutely love this and I am looking forward to reading last month these are both going to be in my stack for February um, and I do do at the end or the beginning of the next month a book review quick video with my ratings which books I like the best and least um, so if you're interested in hearing about this definitely let me know um, but God and I just love the look at how beautifully like all the I can't hold all of them but like the colors go together so really well done I do have to say I think this is my favorite box thus far from um, Books and Baths Co Bath Company. So, and my first box though had the most beautiful Dracula book that kicked me off collecting. They're called Flexi Bounds. Now I'm collecting all of those too. So, Books and Bath, you, you actually <laughs> you got me started on that one too. So, anyway, um, so yeah, I think this ends my three month subscription. They actually messaged me thankfully to remind me about that. So I need to get out there and get my renewal in place because I want my February box. But if you have any questions um, about books and baths or just 
in general about what I'm unboxing. Um, I do several, or the books I'm reading, or just to talk, or you want to give me a recommendation. I love those too. Share below. Definitely hit subscribe and talk to me if you want to talk about books. I absolutely love it and subscription boxes. And until the next, I will post a photo of the unboxing on my Instagram account as well. Link to that is below. But um, I hope you have something as cozy as I do to curl up and do when it is like cold and snowing outside, which is the perfect day. And if you don't know, there is a 24 and 48 readathon um, that kicks off at midnight tonight through Sunday. You try to read in 24 hours. It's a big online community event. Um, I'll put the um, link to that below as well because this is the perfect weather if you live in the north like I do or the Midwest um, where we're getting this crap right now. But it is so much fun just to curl up and dedicate downtime um, to reading and I've got my stack already picked out. So um, definitely check that out if you're a reader and interested. You don't even have to, you just read as much as you can. But um, I'll put information for that below as well. But take care. Thank you for watching. Until the next, happy reading.